Hey, it's Lad, and I'm actually making a sequel video. In my first proper video on this channel, I've explained the political system in Czech Republic, and now I'll be explaining the political parties which are relevant in the current political climate. I highly suggest you watching the first video before continuing with this one. A very big disclaimer I should mention that even though I'll attempt to be as objective and uninvolved as possible, I'm still a highly opinionated person personally interested in Czech politics. However, this video's purpose is to entertain and educate, not to voice my opinions or agitate for a certain political party. If enough people are interested, I might do an overview of the parties where I voice my subjective opinions. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into the video and let's start with the parties who got the most votes in the 2017 parliamentary elections. Ano. Ano means yes in Czech but is also an abbreviation for Association of Unhappy Citizens and it's the party currently governing the Czech Republic. Its ideology can be described as centrist, big tent, but some of their critics claim that they are more populist and straight to the authoritarian left. Founded and led by the current Czech Prime Minister Andrej Babiš, a billionaire businessman originally from Slovakia, it is very hard to avoid controversy talking about ANO. They are a very new party which emerged only in 2012 and they have completely changed the politics of the whole country. Originally profiling themselves as a vaguely center-right pro capitalist party for people disillusioned with crony capitalism and corruption, they've slowly transitioned to a vaguely centrist and big tent party over the years and managed to catch voters from all over the political spectrum. In the recent years, their policies could be classified as economically left-wing. Of course, that is also apparent because of the current governing coalition that ANO leads comprises of them and the Social Democratic Party ČSSD, as well as the support of the Communist Party KSČM. ODS ODS stands for Občanská demokratická strana, Civic Democratic Party, and is the largest center-right party in Czech politics. Originating from the Civic Forum, OF, which is synonymous with Václav Havel and the Velvet Revolution, it is truly a titan of Czech politics. But as we know from Greek mythology, even titans might eventually die. In the past, under the leadership of Václav Klaus, they were closely associated with many corruption scandals as well as crony capitalism. These associations led to the rise of popularity in new parties, such as the already mentioned ANO. In recent years, under the leadership of Petr Fiala, the party has become more liberal, supporting liberal conservatism, social liberalism and a fiscally conservative economy. But of course, many didn't forget the party's past scandals. ODS is now one of the biggest critics of Andrei Babiš's ANO and tries to oppose Babiš's every move. Czech Pirate Party The Pirate Party in Czechia is the largest of its kind in the world and is the third most popular party in Czech politics. Generally profiling themselves as the anti-establishment party for young voters, they promote social liberalism, e-government, green politics as well as pro-EU views. These views cause many conspiracy theories with many voters calling them, quite falsely from politologists' point of view, neo-Marxists. Their leader is Ivan Bartosz, who is also the founder of the party and probably holds the prize for best hair in Czech politics. This prize is also contested by top 09's Dominic Ferry. SPD Strana Přímé Demokracie translates to the party of direct democracy and it's sometimes called the most thriving party in Czech politics. However, when it comes to economy, the party is much more left-wing. Their supposed right-wingness comes from the nationalist rhetoric, as well as calling for a Czech withdrawal from EU and NATO. Their voters are usually big fans of Putin's Russia. One of their key points is anti-immigration and since their leader Tomio Okamura is half Japanese, I'm unsure on which level of irony and absurdity are we. Many critics call SPD populist and some go as far to call them fascists, which again from politology's standpoint is very wrong. SPD isn't part of the government nor the liberal opposition and vote independently from other parties in the Chamber of Deputies. KSCM Jumping from right wing to left wing, we have the Communist Party of Bohemia and Moravia, a continuation of KSC, which is the party who ruled Czechoslovakia under Soviet rule. KSCM claims to be a democratic socialist party that aims to achieve socialism via reform and not revolution. However, socially, KSCM is extremely conservative and also advocates for Czech withdrawal from EU and NATO. Over the years, they have been steadily declining in membership and popularity, which is attributed to their voters migrating to other parties such as ANO, SPD or CSSD, as well as physically dying out. They are currently led by Wojciech Filip, who has been the party chairman since 1996. KSCM is in support of the current government coalition. ČSSD Česká sociálně demokratická strana or the Czech Social Democratic Party is an another titan of Czech politics. However, they have fallen much further than their arch nemesis ODS. 
ČSSD is vaguely left-wing, promoting social democracy economically and is very centrist on social issues. It is also the oldest party in Czechia with roots in the 19th century. ČSSD has suffered a lot in the recent years, being seen just as a second anno, as well as having a number of corruption scandals and disliked politicians on their record. The party leadership has been changing a lot, but they are currently led by Jan Hamáček, who has been praised, even by his critics, as a competent minister of interior during the coronavirus crisis. ČSSD is in a governmental coalition with ANO and many experts say that this actually hurts ČSSD since people have no incentive to vote them instead of ANO. KDU ČSL Christian Democratic Union Czech People's Party is a Christian Democratic Party in a mostly atheist country. Despite this, they have been moderately popular for many years. Economically they are very centrist and socially they are fairly conservative, yet when it comes to foreign policy they support the EU unlike other socially conservative parties. Currently they are in opposition to ANO and their coalition. Top 9 Top 9 is an abbreviation of tradition, responsibility and prosperity and it was founded in 2009 by Miroslav Kalousek and Karol Schwarzenberg, who actually comes from a long lineage of nobility. It is another liberal conservative party with very strong and vocal pro-EU views as well as supporting a cut on government spending and governmental influence. Given their stance, they are obviously in a strong opposition against the current government. Stan Starostové a nezávislí or mayors and independents are a big ten centrist party that focuses mainly on local issues. In the past they have strongly collaborated with Top 09 but they have since stopped working with them. Their current leader is Vít Rakušan who is also the mayor of the Czech city Kolín. They are also in opposition to the current governing coalition. Tricolora The newest major party on the political scene, Tricolor is a breakaway conservative faction of the ODS. Led by Václav Klaus Jr. who has since its inception in 2019 managed to claim many other older conservative members of ODS as well as a sizable portion of SPD, including three members of parliament. Tricolora has very conservative views as well as a nationalist rhetoric and opposes further European integration. They also oppose the LGBT movement and other progressive incentives. Unlike SPD and KSCM, Tricolora doesn't want to exit the European Union, but instead they just want to relegate the Treaty of Lisbon. So, these are the major parties in Czech Republic, but don't worry, we have many, many other fringe parties. Which party would you vote for? Make sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, sharing the video anywhere helps a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.